Hi, this is Cousin Russ. I'm going to continue my discussion on uh, working on somebody else's family tree, but I've also incorporated this into my uh, own uh, file, that my working files. And what I'm going to show you now is something, uh, a task that I call my routine task, routine category. I, what I do on a routine basis, I will run a series of checks to see how I'm doing with my data entry and cleanup and, um, you know, just how I'm doing in my database. It takes a couple of minutes, but I found that it really helps uh, maintain or get my database in the condition that I want it. And the one I'm going to do today is called the uh, data error report. Now, it's something that's been around forever, and it's a very good report. I run it frequently. The last time I ran it was a couple of days ago. And oh, why don't I put it on my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, well, there it is. I was looking at the wrong monitor. Anyhow, uh, so the data error report uh, will run through the database and give me um, probably an overwhelming number of errors. So let me show you where it is. It's in the published workspace. It's in the person report and the data error report. So now I'm going to create that report. I've got, it says, eight pages of data errors. Now that is totally overwhelming for me. Um, it's just too much to handle. Now I will then go to the items to include. And because I haven't really fully cleaned up my birth and marriage dates and especially the missing ones, I am going to uncheck them. I don't want to see those error reports for now because I know that I'm still working on them. So I'm going to exclude them, but I'm going to include all the other errors. Now, if I started initially with eight pages, I would go uh, one or two uh, errors at a time, and I think I've blogged about that before. But I've been working on this database before, and like I showed you before, I've run this data error report several times. So I'm going to click OK by getting rid of the birth date missing and the marriage date missing, and click OK. So now I'm down to five pages. Well, that's still too much because I'm seeing possible duplicate errors and I work ex exclusively with alternate facts. So I want alternate facts. So I have an option over here to include only preferred facts. So now I'm down to less than a page. Uh, that's good news, but I've already got well, let me just show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to click on this last one who says that the individual's children's sort order may be incorrect. So I'm going to double click on that and I bring it up, but I have no way to get to my to-do list from the options that are available in Family Tree Maker 2017 at the time. There's no way to get me directly to this person and their to-do list. So what I have created is a custom fact, a user fact called data error report. So I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to bring on my screen a text file that I have. And you will see that I have all the data error report entries that I will see in the data in a WordPad file. And I'm going to highlight 
the error message that came in the data error report, which is right there. So I have the data error report and I'm going to copy the text as a custom fact. Now I want everything cited. So I have a citation, use an existing citation, and I'm going to select by title. And I have a citation that I have created that says I added this fact from the data error report. So it now is cited, a data error report, and this person uh, has the children's sort order may not be correct. Now, I noticed that this person also has the same error. Since I'm here, I'm going to repeat that process. So I added a fact, they, it's, I just typed D and it brought up data error report. And I want to paste and I'm going to use the existing um, citation data error report. That's all well and good, but that doesn't get it to the to-do list. So what I need to do now is go to the people workspace and I'm going to type in her surname and this is her. I went to the people the person view and there is my citation or the, there is my data error report fact it is cited now i'm going to create a new task and since i have on my clipboard that data error i'm going to paste it right into the description of that uh, task and i'm going to select data error report so now that task is in it's the ta the data error report is a fact and it's on the to-do list now i'm going to go back to the publish workspace and this time I'm going to not include everybody, but I'm going to select, I already had some group of people there. I'm going to select all the facts and I'm going to put data, select the data error report fact. And I'm going to select does not exist. So what this is going to do, remember I just added the, the um, data air report fact to these last two people. And now I'm going to click OK. Now there are 258 people in my database that do not currently have a data error report fact and I'm going to apply that so rather than running the report on everybody in my database with a data error I'm only looking at those who I have not already identified as you can see I lost those two people uh, that were in that data error report so I've already handled them. I already handled one for this video, but I will go fix the other one. So uh, the purpose of this is so that I can go back to my to-do list. Now this is the routine and I just did that routine and I haven't completely, haven't completed it. So that's why it's at, up at the top. I'm going to click and select data error report. I'm going to get rid of the routine tasks. And their uh, children are out of order. Let me scroll down. Uh, 
Oh, I know why that, what happened. Yeah, there's a, there she is. Uh, she is right here. The children. So that's an error message. So that I, you can see that I have a lot of to do's to do. And that's from the data error report that I have not done. But I have done a lot. So that's the completed ones. So it's easy to do and I'll do a blog post on how to correct that data error. I want the data error report into my to-do list, my task list. So again, the way I do it is I run the report. I create, I have a custom fact called data error report. And then I, I want the report to look at everybody except those people who do not currently have a data error report. So they're not already here. So that's how I get the data error report into my to-do list. It's it's takes a couple steps, steps that took me a few minutes to figure out how to do it, but I want to manage my data error report, which I run uh, every several days, which is why my list is pretty small, but I, as you can see, I have had 74 items uh, uh, let me just show you that at the top of the screen, I have 74 items that came out of the data error report, some of which I've already handled and some I have to do. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in my blog or in the Cousin Russ Genealogy community and be glad to try to answer your questions. Thank you and have a great day.